loved it. I just want to say thank you guys for showing so much support to my butter chicken, french bread pizza, and my Taco Tuesday special. You guys are amazing. Thanks for all the likes, thanks for all the comments, sharing my video. It just all means so much to me. So today I'm going to bring to you guys the chicken enchilada soup. Yes, I love the chicken enchilada soup. It's just so easy. Literally, we just throw everything in one little slow cooker, and a few hours later, dinner is ready. So if you're on the go, or if you're busy, or if you're studying, and you want some good dinner for the night, this is the recipe to go to. So now let's get together and talk about the ingredients we'll be needing in order to make this recipe. So for the chicken enchilada soup, what we will be needing in order to make this today is one and a half pounds of chicken breast, boneless, skinless, cut into cubes. We will need about one 28 ounce can of green enchilada sauce. If you don't like green enchilada sauce, you could just replace it with red enchilada sauce. We'll be needing about two and a half cups of chicken broth. And if you are a vegetarian, instead of using chicken broth, you could just use the vegetable broth. The same amount, and you could also just take out the chicken because I've included a lot of vegetarian um, ingredients in this video that you could do without the chicken if you're vegetarian. Then you also need one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You also need one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. And for the taste, you'll need one teaspoon of salt. So all the vegetarian ingredients I have here is a one 15 ounce can of pinto beans, washed and drained, one 15 ounce can of black beans, washed and drained, one 15 ounce can of corn kernels, washed and drained, one cup of diced mushrooms, one red bell pepper, diced up. One cup of red onions. And once all of this is made and put into the slow cooker and is all cooked, to garnish it off, you'll need some Mexican sour cream. Half a cup of diced up cilantro. A few limes and tortilla strips. So these are these ingredients you need in order to make the chicken enchilada soup. And also, like I said, I gave you tips on how to make it a vegetarian enchilada soup. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you the order I put all this together in the slow cooker. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the chicken breast. We're just gonna go ahead and put in the chicken breast on the bottom. Make sure your slow cooker is set for six hours. You could cook it for about six to eight hours, depends on how fast or how hot your cooker cooks. So have it set on high and cook it for about six to eight hours. So set the timer to whatever, between. I would set it to about seven hours because in that way it's right in between. And you could check it at the sixth hour and if not, then you could just extend it. So you go ahead and put the chicken breast in there. Then you're going to go ahead and add the pinto beans right on top. The black beans. The corn kernels. Red onions. The red bell peppers. mushrooms and then we're going to put one teaspoon of salt also one teaspoon of cayenne pepper One teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Half 
a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with all the liquid ingredients. We're going to add the diced tomatoes. So when it comes in a can, it also comes with a liquid. So you're just gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Now you're gonna go ahead and add the green enchilada sauce. And to finish off, we're gonna put in the two and a half cups of chicken broth. Full right to the top, perfect. And you wanna give it just a little bit of a mix so everything just mixes in right with the flavors and the spices. Give the chicken a mix on the bottom. All right, so that is everything put into the slow cooker. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. And we'll come back after about an hour and a half and take a look at how the chicken enchilada soup is doing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes. Looks like the veggies are softening up and the chicken is getting cooked. All the liquid ingredients are getting mixed. So we're gonna give it about another four, four and a half hours to cook. Then we'll come back and garnish it and we'll try how it tastes. So it looks like the chicken and chalda soup has been cooked. So it's been about six and a half hours and to me it looks perfectly done. Like I said, you can do it from six to eight hours. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the chicken and chalda soup and I'll show you how I garnish it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and garnish the chicken and chalda soup. We're gonna go ahead and put some soup in the bowl. And we're gonna go ahead and put, which is optional, some cheese. It just gives it a little bit more cheesy, creamy taste. And we're gonna go ahead and pour some cilantro on top. Squeeze half a lime. Some tortilla strips. And then we're just going to garnish it off with some Mexican sour cream. All right, so that is how you finish off the chicken enchilada soup. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. All right, so let's go ahead and give this dish a taste. Mmm, so good. Reminds me of a chicken enchilada. No wonder why we call it that. I love this dish for so many reasons because I can just get the ingredients, throw it in a slow cooker, go about my day, and when I come back, it's ready. So easy and quick. If any of you make this dish, please send me a picture on my DMs at Cooking with Bubbin or leave the picture down below in the comments. I want to know if you guys liked it, if you hated it, what you changed about it, and how you made it. That's all for today, guys. Please share the video, give my video a thumbs up and like it, and please subscribe to my video and leave comments down below. And when you do subscribe, there's a little notification bell on the side. Please press that because it will notify you when I do upload. And thank you for always supporting and showing me love. That's all for today, guys. Love you.